From the old math to the new math to the new new math known as Common Core. Let's look at how subtraction has changed over the years. If you learned subtraction in the 1950s, you may have learned the borrow and pay back method. Start on the right in the ones place. Since you can't take six from three, you need to borrow from the tens to make this 13 and pay it back by subtracting an additional one here. Now six from 13 is seven. Now we need to borrow and pay back again and 12 minus one minus seven is four and five minus one minus one is three. But some people thought students were just memorizing an algorithm. So in order for students to really understand what they were doing, new math was introduced. New math replaced borrowing and paying back with regrouping. Let's try it. So you can't take six from three. So you need to regroup your tens. Instead of two tens, you have one ten and ten ones, which you add to your three ones. So now six ones from 13 ones is seven ones. And seven is larger than one, so you regroup your hundreds into four hundreds and 10 tens. 7 tens from 11 tens is 4 tens, and 1 from 4 is 3. But now, once again, we're saying this is just an algorithm, and we want students to understand what they're doing. So here comes the common core. But this time, it actually does look different. The idea is to subtract the way you would count change in your head. You start with the smaller number and add up to friendlier larger numbers. Let's start with 176. We add 4 to get to 180, plus 20 is 200 plus 300 is 500, plus 23 gets us to 523. Now add up all the numbers you added along the way. Four and three is seven, two and two is four, bring down the three, and we have 347. When new math came along, it was supposed to help students understand what they were doing. This is exactly what Common Core is trying to do now. New math was mocked for being more concerned about kids understanding the steps than getting the right answer. And this is exactly what people are complaining about with Common Core. Change is scary, especially when it involves math. 